Riddle me this, y'all. What would happen if you took Jonathan Montgomery Augustus Cena Jr. and put him in the highest rated era in professional wrestling history, the Attitude Era? That is a good ass question. Wow, thank you for asking. By the way, we're not talking about clean cut, kissing babies, uh, saving puppies, John Cena. We're talking about word life. This is basic thugonomics. Not advanced thugonomics, just basic. But can Cena rise to the top of the ranks in the Attitude Era? We about to find out. Before we get started, if you guys could do me two massive favors. Number one, hit that thumbs up button. It's hard as you possibly. <coughs> Sorry. Number two, sit back, relax, watch this video all the way to the end. Watch time is king and I am but a humble jester trying to appease it. Let's do it. So last time we did a video like this, I did it in 2K20. Mm -mm. Never again. <laughs> we took Chris Danger, we put him in today's WWE, and it went unexpectedly. <laughs> also, I gotta give a proper shout out uh, to my boy Aaron, Simply Better AM, because he's a big reason why I'm trying this style of video out. I always wanna make sure that uh, my people in this community are shown the proper love, so shout out to my boy. Uh, and I think we're ready to go because I have set up the calendar to be uh, Attitude Error-esque if you will. So these pay-per-views, Over the Edge, King of the Ring, Fully Loaded, SummerSlam, In Your House Breakdown, Judgment Day, Survivor Series, Rock Bottom, Royal Rumble, St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and WrestleMania, let's friggin' go. But what is the Attitude Era without its insane friggin' roster? I downloaded as many people as I could find on the PC uh, community creations, and also put, also, Paul White. <sighs> I can't use regular Big Show because I have the All-Stars mod overwritten and I don't know how to take it off. <laughs> Same problem with Steve Austin. I downloaded another version, but this version's got the AEW logo on the jacket for some reason. I thought it was funny, so I'm keeping it. Our current champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin, of course, the world champ with that title that I friggin' love. It's one of my favorite title designs ever. Intercontinental champ, the rock European champion is British Bulldog, and the hardcore champion currently, the big ball man. So here we go. John Cena's road to WrestleMania begins. Raw is war, and he is not even on the card. And you know what? That's totally fine. I'm okay with that. It's his build up. It's all a build. The following week on Raw, we got some bangers. Rock versus Undertaker. Big Boss Man versus... Versus that guy. Draws and Jericho. Cactus Jack and HBK. And in the main event, Stone Cold and John Cena. Already, let's get it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Simulate this. What happened? Rock wins. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. And John Cena defeats Stone Cold Steve Austin in the main event of Monday Night Raw on his first Raw appearance. Shut the front door. One more Raw before the pay-per-view, Stone Cold just lost to John Cena. And in the following week, he, he beats Cactus Jack. Okay, so he gets his win back. There's a potential rivalry brewing between Austin and Cena. And that's going to bring us to our first pay-per-view, which is, I forgot what it was. What is it? We got Will versus the Big Boss Man for the hardcore title. Triple H versus Vince. Billy Gunn versus Bulldog for the European Intercontinental. Gangrel versus The Rock. And Cactus Jack for Stone Cold. I, I thought that was going to be Cena. Boss Man retains. Bulldog retains. Stone Cold retains. Rock retains. Sick. So let me get this straight. Y'all gave that massive win to John Cena over the biggest man in your company and he hasn't been on the show in three weeks afterwards. John Cena sat down on ringside claiming he wanted to scout his rival. His pretext was exposed after he distracted Stone Cold from his match, allowed his opponent to strike him from behind. He's put his rival on the losing end of these mind games, manipulating and frustrating him however he wants. But then, nothing. <laughs> I guess Cena is going the mind games route against Stone Cold Steve Austin. The following Raw, we got John Cena versus Bret Hart, and Cena picks up the win. So he's had two matches so far against Stone Cold and Bret Hart, and he beat them both. Uh, I don't know, man, Austin victorious again in the main event. They better get, uh, it seems like this man's getting ready for a big push. I don't know, I don't know. And the next Raw, he's not even here. He's already a part-timer, that's crazy. Imagine not even being on a roster for two months and already being Part-timer? Couldn't be me. Uh, what is this? Is this Raw still? Yeah. Ken Shamrock. Sort of. Versus Owen Hart. And still no Cena! We got a pay-per-view next, people! All right, we've reached the King of the Ring pay-per-view is what this is. Sable versus China, check that out. British Bulldog versus Ahmed. What is this? HBK, <gasps> Elimination Chamber. <laughs> a little before it's time but I'll allow it. I still can't get over how Austin's just facing the other way for no reason. It doesn't appear that the title is on the line. Another Elimination Chamber match. Gangrel, Undertaker, Ken Shamrock, Owen Hart, Goldust, Vince McMahon. 
Yo, this pay-per-view is kind of a banger. Let's see what happened at the pay-per-view. Kane defeats Cactus Jack. Uh, China defeats Sable. The British Bulldog retains? Is European title? Question mark? Because usually the champ is on the right. Not on the... What the frig ever. Jericho defeats Kurt Angle. X-Pac defeats Farouk Ron Simmons. X-Pac in an NWO shirt. Lish, whatever. Uh, ooh, Stone Cold wins the Elimination Chamber match. John Cena, it looks like maybe John Cena was the last one. He, it came down to him in Austin, and Stone Cold picked up the win. And Owen Hart wins the Elimination Chamber match at King of the Ring. So your King of the Ring is Owen Hart. Let's just go with that. Here we go. Monday Night Raw, leading up to the next pay-per-view. Uh, John Cena and Gangrel. And Gangrel beats Cena! With a potential rivalry brewing? Oh, I can start a rivalry autom- I didn't know I could do that. So far, John's only lost one singles match to Gangrel, not even on the show. Son of a- Oh, uh, we running it back though. The following week on Raw, John Cena defeats Gangrel, gets his W back, and that rivalry continues to brew. Final Raw before fully loaded. We got Rock versus Owen Paul. Every time I see that friggin' big show, man. Oh, show closer promo call out. John Cena on the mic against Stone Cold and he stands his own wins the promo battle. Good for you, John. Good for you. Stone Cold entered the ring, called out the number one contender. Okay, I don't know why I slapped my desk like that. Looking to prove his superior verbal skillages to his challenger and get into his head. John Cena, 98, answered confidently, stood his ground. The two superstars now to prove which of them will walk away with the title. We got a title match? Is that what we got? Oh, I'm on the poster. Ahmed versus Bulldog, European title. Jericho, Boss Man, Hardcore title. Owen versus The Rock, Intercontinental title. Undertaker, Gangrel, Cactus Jack, Bret Hart, Stone Cold, Ca wait. Wait, what? Number one contender, who allegedly is John Cena, is fighting HBK, and then Stone Cold's fighting Kane. Not for nothing, this card friggin' rules, by the way. I'd watch this shit in a heartbeat. Bulldog keeps, Boss Man keeps, Rock keeps, Gangrel wins. Uh, Cactus Jack beats the Hitman, Kane beats Stone Cold, and John Cena defeats Shawn Michaels in their first encounter. This man is picking up some huge wins, but no titles yet. He's, oh my god, his momentum. And now we open the show with X-Pac? This man's momentum is through the roof. Victory over X-Pac. Good lord have mercy. SummerSlam is right around the corner, man. We on a highway to hell. Oh, he lost. Stone Cold. And that's a rivalry match. Love to see it. That's a rivalry match. That means he's got to be He's got to be getting a shot. John Cena is going to get his first title shot at SummerSlam. And then he beats him again. Oh, Cena. John Cena has Stone Cold Steve Austin's number. Go home show to SummerSlam, and oh, Austin gets his win back. Damn, we're going back and forth, back and forth, back. Save it, save it for the pay-per-view, man. What do you, what do you, come on. The biggest show of the summer, SummerSlam, Cactus Jack versus Bret Hart, Bulldog Billy Gunn, Ron Simmons versus X-Pac, Big Boss Man and Paul White, Owen Hart versus Draws on a potential rivalry, HBK Ahmed, and I'm thinking Stone Cold Cena, yes, for the title. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus John Cena for the WWF championship title. Should we watch a little of that one? I think maybe we should. Bulldog, hey, Bulldog beats, yep, just, yeah. oh, this takes, this takes too long. Yeah, XX, yeah, Paul White, I don't need to see that shit. All right, and finally, main event of SummerSlam, John Cena trying to capture his first world championship against Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Oh, the game crashed! I guess we will not watch the matches. <laughs> Don't try this at home, mm -hmm. got that right. I think it's crashing because my Stone Cold is weirdly corrupted, probably with the All-Stars, <laughs> whatever. All right, main event is Summer Slam, we ain't watching shit. John Cena wins! The WWF Championship from Stone Cold Steve Austin. Holy shit. It looks like the Attitude Era is about to belong to John Cena. Just a couple months deep, he wins the title 
Why is nothing loading? At SummerSlam. And then the following night. What happened? Oh, it's grayed out. Wait, what happened? They had a one-on-one -on -one match. Schmaz? Is it a Schmaz? Carried out a ruthless pre-match attack. Steve's pissed. Steve's pissed. The aggression of the superstar on full display in his attempts to secure a win in another title match. So Austin's gonna get another shot at that title. And he's trying to, ooh, he's trying to mm, get in John Cena's head. Ooh, two of the greatest of all time. I don't care how you feel about John Cena, man. If at any point you try to argue that this man is not one of the greatest to ever do it, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I put Austin, oh, there we go. I put Stone Cold as the greatest ever. That's just my, my opinion. But, uh, you know, John Cena is in that conversation. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Let's keep it moving. Next week, Austin got that non-title win back, and then Cena gets a win back on his own. Flip, flop, back, forth, schmidt, schmop, boop, bap. Tensions have grown out of control. Two superstars fight with each other before their match can start. Oh, they can't keep their hands off one another. Crazy and sexy. <laughs> We've reached the go-home show to In Your House Breakdown is next. They didn't even, you know they didn't even have the In Your House logo in this game to even make. <sighs> this didn't get me upset. All right. John Cena and Cactus Jack. Oh, let me, oh Austin probably interfered in this. John, oh shit, wait, what? John Cena was blind to, hey, Steve, relax. Fighting between the rivals continued even after the referee called off the match. Stone Cold's trying to injure John Cena. His vest says it all. That can only mean one thing. I am cocked, locked, and fully loaded. Big Boss Man versus Paul White for that title. Gangrel versus Rock for that title. Blah, blah, blah. But for the big boy, Stone Cold and John Cena once again in the main event for the championship. We ain't watching shit. Bret Hart wins. Undertaker wins. Boss Man. Uh, Gangrel wins the Intercontinental Championship from The Rock. Rock's had that title since the jump. Ahmed defeats Owen Hart. HBK beats Cactus Jack. And in the main event, John Cena retains the WWF title. Wow. John Cena just got thrown in here and has pretty much become the face of the Attitude Era. Retaining his championship bout against the former champion. He has proven himself a worthy champion with tonight's title defense as his reign has just begun. Bro, he's going, he's going off. And then he loses to Cactus Jack on Raw. Okay, <laughs> look, next week he's got a match against Bret Hart. John? John? What the f was that? X-Pac couldn't wait for his match against Bret Hart. So you, wait. So Okay, okay. The following week, you know, let me disappear again. John Cena versus Kane. John whoops Kane's ass. This dude, he has beaten everybody. He's beat Austin, Rock, he beat Rock. No, Austin, HBK, uh, Kane, who the hell else? Like, Bret Hart, everybody at this point. Bret Hart versus Xbox. Is this the, is this? No, it's still raw, this is still raw. Okay, Bret Hart versus Xbox. Are you sure I'm not gonna amalgamate from Xbox into John Cena again? Let me know. Uh, and John Cena's got a promo to close the show. Oh, no, I didn't want to, uh, I pressed the wrong shit. Damn it, I do that every time. John Cena calling out Stone Cold and again on the mic. Cena holds his own and remains the man. An old rivalry, an old rivalry. Call out his former enemy. You y'all just fuck. <laughs> this game, man. This friggin' game. We have reached Judgment Day, October, let's say 98-ish. Uh, let's see what's going on here on Judgment Day. I'm just gonna simulate it right off the jump. X-Pac wins. Undertaker beats Vince in a one-on-one -on -one match. HBK beats Kane. Rock wins. Not a lot of titles on the line. Bulldog retains the European title. And Stone Cold beats everybody in an eight-man ladder match? What was the, what was hanging from the ladder? It wasn't the title. Was it a manual? How to make a proper video game? <laughs> you call it Judgment Day, but I'm not here to judge. Oh, the following night on Raw, HBK gets his win back over Cena. Is that maybe a rivalry brewing? 
Nope. Ah, the doctor of thugonomics back in the win column over draws with a potential rivalry brewing. Two weeks to go until Survivor Series and Stone Cold calls out John Cena and finally gets the best of his ass. Good Lord, took you long enough. Tempers soon ran hot and a fight broke out. Oh, shit. Time to go home, it's the go home show. DJ baby boy, what you don't know? Oh yeah, oh, it knows a match. Stone Cold beats John Cena. You, you just, you've given this match away for free so many times. So many times. That probably only means one thing. Survivor Series pay-per-view, I'm gonna assume that the world title is on the line. In a rivalry match, regular match, and then we got a traditional Survivor Series match-ish, sort of, Brett, Ahmed, uh, Ron Simmons, and Jericho against Cactus Jack, Goldust, Triple H, and Kurt Angle. How about that for Survivor Series? All right. Big pay-per-view, Paul White wins the hardcore title, Shamrock beats Vince, HBK beats Kane, Owen Hart beats Gangrel for the Intercontinental title, X-Pac wins, and John Cena again! Three straight hat trick over Stone Cold Steve Austin in title matches. Wow. And Bret Hart wins the elimination tag. The sole survivor. Damn! Look at John Cena go. That's crazy. We reached the final pay-per-view of the year, the final month of the year. John Cena, number one in those rankings. Stone Cold, number two. Boss Man, HBK, Paul White, Brett, Bulldog, Kane, Ron Simmons, and X-Pac uh, round out the top ten here. This is really cool. I like this. I like this setup much better than uh, than 2K20s so far for the most part. I mean, it's it's they got similar stuff. I just feel like I'm able to... To navigate easier in this one, I don't know. Again though, if there's one thing I wish I could change, uh, I wish you would show me overall stats for the particular superstar within universe mode. It just shows you titles and, and rumbles, manias, money in the bank and stuff, but man, I would love just an overall win-loss count. It seems like something that's, it seems so obvious, right? Maybe I'm the stupid one, who knows? Back on Raw in the main event, oh, schmaz again? Turned into a schmaz. Heated aggression was on display yet again. And Stone Cold attacked John Cena for the match. Steve, Steve, give it up. I think it's time to accept this is not the Attitude Era anymore. This is the John Cena Thugonomics era now. That's just the way it is. And then he beats Bret Hart in a main event like it's nothing. One of the best wrestlers that ever lived. Just beating him, just beating him, just beating him. Damn, see, this is what I thought would happen in the Chris Danger simulation. <laughs> but it is, it is not even close to what happened. Spoiler alert. Raw continues on the road to rock bottom and Cactus Jack beats John Cena. Here we are, the final Raw of the year. Probably a Christmas themed episode. DX's wieners hanging out of stockings and John Cena beats Stone Cold in the main event. Rinse, repeat, Cena wins. LOL, Cena wins. Moving on to the pay-per-view. Final pay-per-view of the year. Let me guess. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that John Cena retains the WWE Championship. Ahmed wins the European title. Uh, Undertaker beats McMahon again. Owen Hart retains Intercontinental title. Goldust beats The Rock. Paul White, hardcore champion. Uh, Kane loses to Sean. And John Cena beats Stone Cold in a title match. Four and oh. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, the champion still stands tall with the gold. We are on the road to the Royal Rumble now, and it looks like nothing is stopping John Cena, except for not being put on the show. <laughs> How about this? Potential rivalry Austin and Triple H brewing. I like to see that. And I like to see John Cena picking up a victory over Paul White. Doesn't matter if we're in this era, that era, your mama's era. John Cena and The Big Show are gonna find a way to fight each other. That's just the way it is. What's really gonna matter is this rumble in a couple weeks because that's gonna determine who the hell is actually, oh, he beats Cactus Jack. He got that win back over Jack. That's gonna determine who's gonna be heading into WrestleMania to challenge that man for the title, if he keeps it. If he keeps it till then. And I don't, right now, foresee any circumstance where John Cena loses the title, but he loses again to Cactus Jack. That seems like it's a it's a rivalry, bro, and no, Jack and uh, no, it's not even really. 
no, Cena's not even really popping up there. Okay, okay, it's just, it's just something to hold him over, right? Just something to hold him over till the pay-per-view. Royal Ramble time. On tonight's show, Jericho versus Ahmed Johnson, Bulldog versus Billy Gunn, Kane versus HBK, Paul White versus Boss Man, Undertaker versus Owen Hart for the Intercontinental title. One of the titles The Undertaker never held his entire career. Cena versus Brett for the title at the Rumble. And 10 man? Do I not have enough on the roster for a full Rumble? Whatever, whatever. Brett and Cena for the title and the Rumble. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Who we got, who we got winning here? Title, oh, Owen retains. Intercontinental Championship, and John Cena retains the WWF title, and he will be facing HBK at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels wins the Royal Rumble. Let's go. Let's go. yeah. This this universe compared to 2K20 to simulate stuff is so much better. Just for the fact it like shows you who the Rumble winner is. That's all I needed to see. Just show me who that is. Shawn Michaels wins the Royal Rumble. You know what, there is there is surprisingly a small part of me, Cactus Jack beats him again. Cactus Jack got, hey, he's got Cena's number. There's a small part of me that didn't think it was gonna go this way. I thought this, I thought it would be much more like the danger one where it kind of was just a little more random and he's not necessarily winning everything, but he's winning everything. And then he beats Bret Hart in a call out promo. Jesus, John. Save some for the rest of us, will you? Cena beats Austin again in the main event. Jesus, man. John is, he's a, he's a monster. There is no Stone Cold Steve Austin if this happened. You don't lose that many times to John Cena and remain the face of the Attitude Era. Oh, but how about this potential rivalry with The Rock and John Cena? Now we're talking, now we're talking. Ooh, HBK lost to Stone Cold. The Rock and John Cena potential rivalry brewing and we are headed to St. Valentine's Day Massacre, the final pay-per-view before WrestleMania. Billy Gunn, Ahmed Johnson, Taker Goldust, Shamrock, Owen Hart, Triple H, Gangrel, Ron Simmons, and Paul White, John Cena, and Kane? What? What? One on one extreme rules. That's pretty cool. They want to make sure. Okay, okay, okay. So you want to make sure that Cena retains all the way to Mania so that HBK is given his proper title shot. Perfect. I'm fine with that. Works for me. Simulate this stuff. What we got? Let me go back to the front. Ahmed wins the European title once again. Undertaker wins. Shamrock, the new Intercontinental Champion. Gangrel beats Triple H. Paul White retains the hardcore title. And John Cena beats Kane. This man has lost like three, four matches and has won like 25. Cactus Jack beats Stone Cold in the main event. And we have reached WrestleMania month. Back at this age, <laughs> there was only one pay-per-view between uh, the Rumble and Mania. Now there's like six. Uh, what do we got though on the first Raw of the month? Stone Cold, Cena, and Brett in a triple threat, bro. Imagine. Oh, that's crazy. I'm just thinking about that shit. That's awesome, dude. Holy shit. That's such a cool match. Uh, week two though, what do we got? Oops, wrong button. Simulate everything. Looked like John Cena had a call out against Bret Hart. It's either Cena and Rock, Cena and Brett, or Cena and HBK at WrestleMania for the title. It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be one of those. John Cena's first year in WWF, he has held the title since he won it, and he's not on the card. But, oh, you see it. You see where we're at. And just in case you don't, here's Raw. Here's WrestleMania. Oh, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be Cena and and Brett at Mania. Mmm, that sucks for Sean. That sucks for Sean. And we're and so even though we're fighting at Mania, we're gonna give you the match a week beforehand on Raw for free. Sick. <laughs> oh, and Bret Hart. Bret Hart beats John Cena. Bret Hart was all over John Cena as soon as the bell rang, delivering an onslaught to his opponent until the referee had to step in. The superstar's momentum doesn't look like it can be stopped as he continues to compete against his rival. I mean, this whole time when Stone Cold was just running through friggin' everybody, man. He could not be stopped, and now he's somewhere in the middle of the pack because this man has held the title for 196 days. Brand wasn't even in the company at this time. Uh, Sean was injured at this time. Like, so much was going on, and look at this. There's your main event. 
John Cena, can he close out the year as champion? WrestleMania results, Ahmed retains the European title. Owen wins the Intercontinental title. Paul White retains the Hardcore title. Stone Cold beats Cactus Jack. Kane beats A- This man won the Rumble, and then he loses a random one-on-one -on -one to Kane at Mania. I- Nah, I don't want to talk about it. The story of John Cena in the Attitude Era comes down to this. Is it John Cena's time? Still, or will the Hitman pick up the title at WrestleMania? Oh, Cena lost! Oh, Cena lost! Bret Hart has won the championship. The new champion went through a grueling battle with his enemy, came out on top when the stakes were at their highest. Wow. And Bret Hart is the one to finally end John Cena's 196 day reign as champion in the Attitude Era. That's just one year, dude. That's just John Cena's first year in the Attitude Era. 10 months in, 11, with Mania in the books, 196 days as champion. And he loses in the main event of Mania. Wow. Oh man, you built the, you built the whole era around this man. Then you have him lose at Mania. The whole year was about Cena. Then this man loses. Only in the World Wrestling Fair. <laughs> People, that's gonna wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. These are very enjoyable to do for some reason. I don't know why. Hopefully you guys dig them as well. Uh, just kind of seeing these alternate uh, situations, alternate realities and stuff. It's always cool uh, to, to kind of dig through stuff like that. So thank you guys for stopping by. Hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. Much more coming your way. Don't miss it. I'll see you next time. Peace!